I'm gonna show you guys how I cook this food this delicious food right here so please watch this video from beginning to the end please join me in my kitchen while I cook this delicious meal and you guys will see how I came up with this beautiful food right here enjoy this video okay I'll see you guys back in a few minutes okay Okay, hey, come on, come on, come on, go watch the video. Hello, how you guys doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. You ready to cook with me? Before we start, I just want to say a big shout out to Janet Ubeju for doing this collaboration with me. Love you, girl. Love you, love you, love you. Come on, let's start cooking, yo. Uh, we're going to be cooking fish stew. This is my fish, can you guys see? Mm-hmm. Oh, when I'm when I'm cooking fish in the house, I just take my bag and put all the dirty stuff in the bag, and I take it outside immediately. I don't try to put it in the trash bag and leave it in there, and leave it in the house because I have little kids at home. So I have little kids at home. So this is how I clean my own fish. Trying to make sure that this video is not too long, so. I'm gonna do this really fast. Yeah, I have my kids here. Mama is walking. No, don't touch, please. Don't touch, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, good job. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this right now, I'm gonna soak my fish. Yeah, I'm gonna soak my fish. You guys see? Oh, what are you, buddy? You? Can you guys see? I had it this salt in the water. I mean, I don't usually do this all the time, but you know, this is another way. When you soak your fish inside water and you had your salt or your maggie or whatever ingredients you want to add to, trust me, it's going to be way seasoning, okay? You know that you are the kind of person that don't know how to gauge your salts when you're trying to season your, your fish. This is one of the easiest methods. This is like, you know, for some reason I like to do, I like to cook in a very modern way or easy way for the, you know, for the millennials, you know, so, you know. Husband will be eating your food and say, ah, ah, my dear, there's no salt in this fish. What's going on? So, you know, and if you like, you can actually add a little bit of maggie. You can add a little bit of Maggie to it. You know Maggie? You had a little bit of Maggie to it. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> what to you? What's that? Add a little bit of Maggie. I don't know. And just leave it. No. I'll say maybe for like 30 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna put it on my trash in here. And when I'm done, wrap it up and take it outside. I'm not going to put it in the trash can. I'm going to wrap it up and take it outside. So I'm not going to leave that in the house. No, no, no. We are not leaving that in the house. Look at them. Say hi, guys. Say hi. 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 Hi, Bruce. Say, come on, say hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, do me, do me, do me. Hello. How are you? Did you hear what you said? How you doing, 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 doing? <laughs> I'm gonna be cooking our rice. Can you guys see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's 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 cook.
I cover this. Okay, so let's start. Let's start cutting our tomatoes and blend it. One thing my mama taught me, even though I didn't listen when she was telling me back then, get to clean up after yourself. Don't wait till like after you finish cooking. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Shout out to my mama, y'all. stew to be too watery you don't need to add water tomatoes are frozen so you don't need to add water in it when you're blending it let's check on our rice next mostly have to put our spinach our greens and the rice Look, sir, sir, just make sure that rice look beautiful, beautiful. Huh? You want to cook with mama? You want to cook with mama? Hello, how you doing? Are you doing? 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 Excuse you, Bussy. Mama. You want to cook with mama? Mm -hmm. Go watch TV. You're going to cook with mama or something, okay? You cook with mama tonight. Then, then, then. with a little bit of palm oil remember I said when I'm cooking fish I don't usually put up like you know I don't put my trash in the trash can put it in a separate bag and I take it outside I don't want to leave it in the house put it in a separate bag Take it outside, I'll be back. Taking this outside real quick. I'll be back. Ooh. I'm back. I mean my windows are open. When I'm cooking, I like to leave the windows open. My windows are open. Stove is off. So you can not turn the stove back on. These are salt. I want to use everything. And this is the tomato flavor, Maggie. I'm going to use everything. And this is our curry, remember? Yes. Okay, go and, go and get your spoon. Sorry. Hello. Let me check on my kids. Waiting for the stew to be done. Our rice is ready. Can you guys see? Okay. So I'm 
because the fish is in there now, so can't really stir it. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna shake it. Ooh. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. Mm. And our stew is done, done, done. These are leftover. So I'm gonna put this in, in a small container. I'll put it in the fridge or freezer. I don't know. This is a leftover from my last stew. I'll put it in the freezer. That's gonna be useful. I don't wanna add it to the one I just cooked. Oh, um, Mom, I'm so in boy. The fish still keep. Look at my hand. Keep splashing on my hand. Yeah. See there? What? You wanna clean it? Wanna help me clean it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, you so sweet. Oh, thank you, mommy. You so sweet. It's not clean. Huh? It's a clean, mama. Oh, it's clean. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Here's a fish too. See, I cook one day, I take a day break. Now I stayed in the kitchen cooking all day today. Tomorrow, I'm not cooking nada. Huh? Your sister told you not to do that. Why did you make a mess? I'm gonna make a mess. Go raise your hand up and close your eyes. No. Why did you make a mess? Why? Right there. Huh? Clean up. Now you want to go clean up? Yeah. Huh? She, I heard her when she was telling you don't do that. Don't do that. She told you not to. Yes. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, see. <laughs> Your sister kept telling you don't do it. Now you want to clean up. Clean. It's clean. Yeah. Why did you make a mess? Like, uh, no, oh, sorry rice. for me. But see, huh? why did you make a mess? Uh -oh. When you are done cleaning up, go lift your hands up and go on a time out and close your eyes. After you clean up, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, Mama. No, that's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Yes, you are sorry. Understand. But still go, go and raise your hands up. Go on a timeout Daddy. for making a mess. Yeah, thank you. Go and raise Daddy. your hands up and close your eyes. Right there, right here, right here, right here. Come here, come here, right here. Raise your hands up right there. Mm hmm. Yes. All the way up. Raise your hands all the way up and close your eyes. See, come here. Sorry. And where's your close weight? What happened? Uh, Daddy. Why is your clothes wet? What happened? Sorry, Mama. Why did you pour water on yourself? Sorry, Mama. Go raise your hands up and close your eyes. Sorry, Mama. Raise your hands up and close your eyes. I'm going to get my makeup done for this video. Okay, guys. So... Did my own hair. Fix my hair. Did my hair. Did my hair. Did my hair. Chin is clean. Stove is clean. Food is cooked. The kids are okay. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. The cooking. I hope you guys enjoy watching me in my kitchen cook this delicious food. Now it's now time for us to talk. I'm gonna make this really brave. And what are we talking about? We're gonna be talking about my first year in America. Hmm. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. 
thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and i hope you're gonna watch this video from beginning to the end so today i'm doing a big collaboration with janet bubaiji she's a dear sister because we do talk you know so I, we do charts and we talk once in a blue moon and um she's a dear sister to me and I, this the reason why she, so she decided to do this collaboration with me and just to support me you know so i want to say a big shout out to you janet obeyju thank you so much sis thank you so much for doing this collaboration with me and um let me taste the food first before we start talking yeah in mm. guys don't mind that flower deal that's the flower that my husband bought for me on valentine's day till don't die finish because i refuse to water it just ignore that flower i'm gonna be talking about my first year in america and i believe she's gonna be talking about her first year in london yeah my first year in america who my first year in america our very first day let me start with our journey coming to america my mom won a visa lottery that's how i came to america my mom won my mom won a visa lottery and we came to america praise god hallelujah our very first day our very first day in america we had a very terrible car accident a very very terrible severe car accident we almost didn't survive it my mom almost lost her hand like an old aunt my mom almost lost her hand on our very first day in america my aunt came over to the airport to pick us up we we're on our way home we didn't even, we didn't even make it home on our way home and we had a very tip i think it was actually very close to their house mm -hmm. let me eat a little bit okay mm. 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 Pardon my mom, manners. I didn't even invite you guys. Let me pray for you. God bless this food in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every who eyes that's looking at me right now, everyone that's looking at me that I'm wondering why I'm eating my food. God, don't destroy them. I pray for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Guys, you're invited. Come on, eat, okay? I've never done this before, okay? I've never done this before. Mm. So, like I was saying, ugh, how do people do this? Eat and talk at the same time. Oh, this thing had them. Anyway, my brain is focused on the food, to be honest with you guys. I know you guys will be like, hey, huh? accidents, how did it happen? We like, keep talking. So what happened? Calm down, yeah? I'll try and talk. Bro, let go. Let me enjoy my fish a little bit. Hmm? Let me enjoy this fish first. Mm. Accident almost took my mom's life. I was able to get her. My aunt came out. So we're trying to get my mom out so she like, Please don't touch me. If you touch me, my hand will fall. I say, hey, what are you? Your hand, okay? She's like, please don't touch me. If you touch me, my hand will fall. She said in Yoruba, she's like, am I for coming? Am I for coming? Oh, me, my job. I was like, eh? Like, I screamed. I was so sh scared. I was scared. You know, I was, and my mom was like, please don't touch me. Please don't lift me or don't touch me. You know, she's like, I'm gonna come out. If you carry, if you, t if you lift me up, my hand will fall. I used one hand to lift the other one up, to lift this hand up, cause you know to support the hand up. And I was like, oh my goodness. Anyway, they rushed her to the to to the hospital. My mom was in the hospital for months. We all went to the hospital from there. We didn't even go home. We went straight. We all went straight to the hospital from there. That was my very first day in America. We went straight to the hospital from there. Which, you know, I spent... I think I went home that day or I went home. No, we stayed with my mom. So they took my mom to the ER. She stayed in the hospital for months. Yes, yeah, she stayed in the hospital for months. But we thank God she made it home. Got healed her completely. And now she can stretch her two hands. You know, I just thank her that, you know, God kept my mom's life. You know, 
when I remember all that, my, when I remember my first experience, everything, you know, my coming to America, it's, it's the grace of God, you know, it's the grace of God, it's the grace of God. If I, if I sit and start telling you guys everything that we went through before we came over here, trust me. Hmm. Man, I'm telling you, uh -huh. I've been through a lot too. I've been through a lot in this country. I've been through a lot my whole life, but I just thank God for my life journey. I thank God for everything that God has done. It has not been easy. It's not easy now. It's not easy now. It was not easy then. It's, it's not easy now. But I thank God for where I am today. I thank God for my journey. I thank God for everything. You know, I was in SS2, going to SS3 when I left Nigeria. Boy, school for this country, eh? Hmm. They are not born here. You give us a foreigner. This kids, eh? Hmm. They want to frustrate your life. But you have to show them and let them know that, boy, eh? Hmm. You are from where you are from, Nigeria. So, as I didn't enjoy my high school, I was made fun of in high school. I was in my first three months of high school, I was made fun of, you know. I cried about back then when I was in Nigeria. Who born you? So, you make fun of me. Who born you? We go fight. My nickname when I was in secondary school in Nigeria was my power because I never cry home you can't go for my trouble we go fight that's how I was coming here you know you can fight nobody here if you fight you know what we have right mm -hmm. so I was already told my aunt told me she was like huh we this is not Nigeria, they'll be fighting everybody on the street. This is America, they don't fight, so don't be fighting here. No, don't, don't go around, don't go around, be fighting people out here. So, based on the story that I was, based on the story they told me, I can't say that here. I can't say it online. I can't say it on social media. But based on some horrible stories that I had, that I've had, this particular girl, then in my high school, hmm, come on, I'm so fine for high school. That kind of girl, if I was in Nigeria, I just give her more slap. She's gonna sing that somewhere. Boom. I was already one not to fight American kids. So, this girl was starting with my trouble every single time in school. She will make fun of my clothes, make fun of my shoes. Make fun of the way I talk, everything. I said, God, I they go back to Nigeria. A me man power. A hold me. Look at this nonsense girl. Making fun of me. Why? Nobody saw the way she wear The way she goes, go square. The way butter. The way clothes. Up. But this girl would just be picking on me for no reason. I went and I told my mom. I said, You know, buy my tickets. I'm going back to Nigeria. Buy my ticket. I'm going back. Shout out to my auntie, Auntie Victoria. Auntie Victoria was like, "Where is bullying my baby? Come on, I'm going with. I'm going to school tomorrow." She wrote me a letter. I took the letter to my school. Guess what? And she came over to my school that same day too. She came over to my school, followed me to my principal's office, and they called the girl. So they gave us two days suspension or two days or a couple of days, I don't know. I just didn't see the girl in school for some time. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna see this girl for school. What's going on? Come to find out. She was on two or three days suspension. I said, come, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. eh? That was her. Um, that girl left me alone. She stopped blaming me in school. And high school was smooth. Finish high school. I was uh, I made honor roll all throughout my high school. My very my very first job in America was Wendy's. I got a job at Wendy's. I was working at Wendy's. Um, my first paycheck was hundred and something dollars. I was so happy. Hey, but American money, hundred and something dollars. I will never forget. I went straight to cash and check, cash that check. What I do with that money? Ha! Ah, I went to Ames. That was back then. I don't know if they have Ames where you guys are in your country, in your states. I went. That was the store that was rainy back in early 20. 
any 2000 any 2001 you know so ems is like um rose yeah ems is like rose or bigger than rose i don't know yeah bigger than rose but that was a store that back then you can get jeans for ten dollars shoe for nine and ah we were not sensible to ems lara i went that way this for a little while then i left what is that work i was talk toys and rush i worked at toys and rush left toys and rush i went to um i worked for this nigerian woman Come on. but there you story eh she might be watching this i don't want to be talking well for nigerian people they you work it's time to pay you they will not want to pay you eh they will not want to pay you they say i'm a mountain law ah sir i'm a mountain lawyer oh hold up but my name is ah me take boo me i'm not worried watch my lola you know stuff like that it's good anyway you know that's life you gotta pass through you gotta pass through life you gotta pass through life i'm just happy for i'm not where i want to be yet i'm contented you know so i'm grateful for where i am i'm not at my destination yet i'm another girl's dream girl's plan for my life is bigger than this you know and i'm focused i'm I'm, I'm not at, at my age right now, you know, I'm not moved by what's going on on my left or what's going on on my right. I'm not moved by crowd. I'm not moved by noise. I'm not, not at this age, not at this age. And that's why I married a very strong man. That's why I married a very, very strong man. An Afro man, I would say. I think so I said yes to a very strong man because we are not moved by noise. We are not moved by... You know, I'm not moved by my friends living in $500,000 house. I'm not moved by my friend living in six, seven bedroom house. No, I'm not moved by someone that is living in a brand new house. You know, I'm living in a house. I'm not suffering. I eat every single day. I have a job. I have a roof over my head. Life has not been easy. I can go on vacation. I can say, look, I didn't go to work today. I can say, look, I'm not going to work tomorrow. I'm taking some time off without pay. You know, so I don't, I can, I can, we can pack our bag and go on vacation right now. And we'll not have to struggle. It's the grace of God. So I'm, I'm happy with where I am. Anyway, I don't want this video to be too long. I think this video is already too long, too long. Anyway, so this is my story. So... If you see me going out, having fun, enjoying myself, my dear, don't envy me. Oh. I'm grateful. I'm just enjoying life. My life is not perfect. No one's life is perfect. No one's life will ever be perfect. But just enjoy the moment. Enjoy every single day. Every day that you sleep and you wake up. Be grateful to God. Look around you. You have every reason to be thankful. Look around you. Just a reason. I'm not a motivational speaker. Please, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm just a girl on YouTube. I'm a stammer. If you don't know, I do stammer. So, yes, I stammer a lot. I'm a stammer. I'm If you don't know what, if you don't know what that means, you know. I'm not ashamed. People, a lot of my friends know. They know that I do stammer. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not a perfect woman being now. I have gaps in my teeth. My teeth is not perfect. But guess what? I'm still gonna talk. I'm not I'm not gonna let that old me down from talking. I'm still gonna be that happy girl. This year 2020, I just wanna be happy and have fun. Go on vacation, enjoy myself, enjoy myself, my family. That's it. This video is too long. So one year in America, I'm in a flashback, 20 something years ago. I'm thankful to God for where we started from. I used to sleep in a um, pumping bed. We didn't have a TV. All my mom bought was just a pumping bed and a computer and a printer so I could get my school work done. And I thank God. That God gave her the grace to bring me here. God gave her the grace, and I must. I'm still. I'm alive to the glory of God. I'm not where I want to be yet, 
but I'm grateful to God for where I am. I'm grateful to God for where He's taking me to because I know that His plan towards my life is going to be great in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Sister Janet's Ibeji, for doing this video with me, for doing this collaboration with me. I love you, girl. Thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Eh, yeah, yeah, eh, yeah, 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 y